So, picked up something for the fire truck. Got this on eBay. And if you're guessing a CB, you are wrong. We got a siren with a PA and everything. So, uh, this, I'm not going to say it's period correct for the fire truck. This actually may be older than the fire truck. Maybe not. I haven't found a date code on it. Um, I wanted something older and... Uh, this one was a good deal. I paid, uh, got it on eBay, uh, listed as working, and I think shipping and everything, it was like $44. But it did not come with a wiring harness, and the wiring harness for this thing is people want ridiculous amounts for them. So there's not much to it. You can see the blades right there. It was an eight pin connector. Um, I think we really only use like four pins, depending on which. Uh, speakers we use but um you've got a power and a ground and then basically two wires to the speaker and that's the basic hookup you know so what i came up with is i've got these spade connectors they're slightly smaller than a normal spade connector they're still a little bit big for that and they're a little bit tight because uh, those are thick connectors so i'm opening them up a little bit and then squeezing them narrower and it's making a good tight fit and so that's what we're going to use to wire this thing up and then i'll put some heat shrink uh, on it to cover the connector up but they're a good tight fit we'll crimp some wires on there and uh, should be good to go and that's what we're going to do for a harness uh, so let me with the last one let me do it and then um, I'll crimp some wires on there and get some heat shrink on them. All right, so there's our wire connections. I think they turned out great. Um, like I said, they want a lot of money. Uh, well, it is a lot of money trying to find the harness for this thing used. And this one didn't come with one. Uh, it's probably pretty period correct, the more I think about it. Um, it's definitely, I would guess it's probably 70s. I don't think it's in the 60s. It is transistorized. Uh, so, I'm going to guess it's 70s. Now, what um, the width of this is too um, narrow for our bracket here. What I'll probably do, just to make this easy, is take that bracket and cut it in half and either make it two brackets or something and and reuse that bracket um i don't have anything that'll fit it probably i'm gonna guess that this thing never had a siren that it had a radio that had um you know pa speakers on the outside is my guess uh it definitely has radio wiring i Maybe I'll put a CB or something in it at some point, but um, I don't think right now we need a, um, we don't really need a radio. I want a siren in it, not a radio. And so that poses another issue. You know, we've got these speakers here, which I'm probably gonna just remove. I'll probably take them out. I don't think there's any reason really to keep them. They're 10 watt speakers, so they're not, uh, not very powerful they're not they're not uh they're not going to be enough for this siren um this uh, this thing i've got it hooked up for 58 watts right now it's if i try to run the siren off of it it's probably going to blow these speakers i, I just want to test to make sure this thing works and so i'm probably going to run it off of the um just put it in the pa mode and i can turn the gain down to where it's not just blasting these speakers if you know if i if i flip it over to siren it's just going to blast these they're not going to hold up uh, but you can wire this thing up for 58 watt speakers or 100 watt speakers uh, i'm probably just going to order me one of those uh small 100 watt speakers put it put it probably behind the front bumper and call it good i just got to find a good deal on one and then i'll probably just remove these i don't know that um I don't know if they work for one and two. Um, I, I don't. I can't really run them with this. 
and I don't really have anything that I need to have them for. So uh, we'll probably just take them out. So let me try to figure out some of this wiring under here, see if I can figure out which wires actually go to those speakers. I'm guessing these are our power wires, possibly. And I'm just gonna wire this thing up temporarily because um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it right here or what. I just need to make sure this thing works. It came from eBay, it was, gear it was listed as a working unit. I just wanna make sure it works. So that's what we're gonna do and at least make sure it works in the PA mode and we'll go from there. Okay, so I just wired it into those wires. Those are our keyed ignition wired and make sure the speaker leads are not touching or anything and turn it on and uh, it's lighting up. So let me try to figure out what this wiring is and we'll go from there. Well, so I traced down this wire and I think it's going to the speakers, but it comes down, it comes out and it comes down into that wire and then it, it runs all down and you can see that wire is not the best. And then it, it comes over here and it loops around and goes over to the other side. And then it, I don't know, I mean it, and then up here you've got a larger wire it seems super sketchy to me so i'm just gonna temporarily hook it up to that speaker i'm not gonna worry about trying to get it. we know these speakers uh we cannot run the siren on these speakers so i'm not gonna bother with even trying to hook anything up to them I don't trust that wiring. I don't want to smoke this thing because something is shorted out or whatever. Um, that's a good speaker. It's a good 8 ohm speaker. We're going to just temporarily hook that up, see if we get some sound out of it, and uh, use it for our testing. All right, I've got the key off. Key on. I felt a little thud out of the speaker. Test, test. I've got the gain pretty far down. This is a test. And it seems like it is working. What we're gonna do, we're gonna, I got the key off. I've got it in the whale position. I'm gonna back away from this thing as much as I can. We're gonna turn the key on just for a second. <laughs> and we got that. And let's go to Yelp. that oh no wait that was high low the other was yelp now we're should be in whale okay and what other positions do we have just pa manual and radio and we're, we don't have a radio input hooked up and so this thing is working um yeah, I don't that other that other wiring is sketchy. So I am not gonna try that. We're gonna we're gonna pick up a speaker and put it on the front, rewire it, take those others down. So I think we'll continue once that's done. Little this was the bracket that was up under here from some radio. There was an antenna hookup under there. And so at some point they had a radio in it. So I just went over, it was too wide. I didn't have a bracket for my siren. So I just uh, cut this and cut like, I don't know, an inch or so out of it uh, to the right width. And it just quickly just welded the thing back together. It's uh, squared up across and it's still straight. You know, made sure I didn't warp it. Um, just did a quickie job on it. So I'm gonna just, uh, it was up there with some self-tappers, so I'm gonna uh, reuse one of the holes and uh, just re-drill and uh, self-tapper in the other hole. And I need to see which way I want it faced, which way is gonna be the best way. Oh, and I threw some paint on it. So let me see what looks best and uh, I'll mount it up. 
around trying to find a place to mount this thing and there's not much room up under the front and because what you got unless we hang it down i'd like to prefer to hide it under the front bumper or something i guess i could go to one side this was in the way i didn't think about coming to one side of it though we could come over to here and mount it in here uh, bolt it through the bumper right here drill two holes and drill it through and uh, mount it there we put it something like that and drilled two holes and hammered in some carriage bolts that now made these round holes square and i think that gives it a, a better look once you uh paint that you're really not going to see the two carriage bolts there and i decided to do that instead of uh you know a, a bolt with a I was probably gonna end up having to put a washer on it and it just that looks nicer to me and then back side of it it only had i can tell where the thing was mounted before and it only used these two center holes there's four holes in it i think that's plenty to hold it and then we've got it kind of an at an angle you can see about how much it's sticking down not much at all and uh i think that'll be a good position for it I think the sound will kind of come down and uh, echo off the ground. I could always just straighten it up, but then that's kind of just um, pointing straight at the bumper. And I mean, this should always, I mean, really this is just for, just for me. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be driving around with this. I can't drive around with the siren on. This is just to have fun with. So I don't think that's going to be plenty. And then I'm going to have to wire it up. I don't remember if I showed this when I got this thing. I've had it a couple of weeks now. But the wires were cut right in there. And I had to take this thing apart and put on some new wires and uh, extend them out. And so that's just little pigtail leads I put on it. And so I'm going to have to route that up and we'll route it into the cab. And I may try to clean up some of the other wiring when I do this. Um... So we'll uh, see how that goes. Uh, speaker mounted, got some uh, wire loom going over there. You can see it coming up through there and right there. Comes in and goes in the cab and runs to our siren. Now, I think I'm gonna have to take this thing apart and maybe replace the capacitors and stuff in it. I've noticed it kind of messes up. On the PA side, and so we'll have to address that. Everything else seems to work okay on it, but we'll turn the key on. Kids are in the yard, so I don't wanna do it too much, but we'll flip it over to PA. what it does on PA uh, did not do that in the beginning seems like after getting used a little bit it started doing that so probably some bad capacitors that we'll need to uh, address the wire here goes over and I tie wrapped it over on this side because it was dangling down so that kind of gets it out of my way you know it would have been right on my leg uh, I didn't end up moving the bracket over that way. We used, uh, I forget which hole. I would used one hole and then I ended up using the other hole, original hole, uh, just because I needed it to go this way. Because it was really close to my shifter, it would have cleared, but just barely. And you can see when I went into reverse. So we're good now and we'll leave it like that. Um, I guess we'll do it from in here. I think if I do it from outside, it's just going to kill the audio. This thing is really loud. So we will uh, go through the modes. Radio mode is for input. So uh, I don't have an input hooked up to it. So we put it on whale.
to me that high pitch part of it doesn't sound quite right and i don't know if that's how it's originally sound or if this thing is just kind of needs some going through and that sound has changed over time and then the last one and that's it <laughs> <laughs> That's so screaming every time I do it. He's happy screaming though. He's not. It's not scaring him. So, um, I think that turned out great. I think it looks good in here. Uh, I just need to go through it and kind of, you know, get it right because it's not. It's not quite right. So we'll pull it back out and. I'll go through it, probably re just replace all the capacitors and just kind of clean everything up. Um, but for now, it's okay. And I guess it's also possible that we've got an issue somewhere in here, but I kind of doubt it because it, it's kind of a time thing. It doesn't do it immediately. So I think it's more something's not quite right inside. Um, so I'm happy with the way the wiring turned out and I'm happy with the location of the speaker. The speaker works well. Um, so I think that we're uh, slowly kind of getting this thing fixed up and you know, eventually we'll, I guess, get to some body work on it. But for now, you know, we're doing wiring type stuff. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.